Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm spending some time with Luis Keller, National Training Manager of UEI Test Instruments. And as we are approaching our carbon monoxide safety month of November, we wanted to bring awareness to some of the appliances and actions to be very aware of as we go into the winter season, especially as we're confronting different natural disasters and people are using backup generators, they're using auxiliary heating sources to stay warm. Let's let's talk about some of the things to be aware of for appliances that could potentially introduce carbon monoxide into our environment that might not always be there. Right. So one of the first things though is that we always want to make sure that any of our gas fired appliances, so furnaces, water heaters, boilers, anything like that that might be in the house, yep. making sure that we are having those tested and checked on right, an right. annual basis. Um, also making sure that there's no obstructions because we don't want any backdrafting issues. The other thing, though, that Clifton was mentioning is that we were talking about, you know, alternate heat sources, especially when those cold winter days come. It's it's a good reminder carbon monoxide can build up. So we want to make sure that we have any of those generators that we're putting them far enough away from the house that we're not having carbon monoxide coming in the intake um, of our furnaces. We also want to make sure that if we decide that we're going to do a barbecue, that we don't do it inside our garage where all of that carbon monoxide can build up. And we also want to make sure, you know, when we're doing our Thanksgiving and all of that cooking, that we have our exhaust fan on as well, because those could all cause possible sources of carbon monoxide in the house. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Luis. Thank you, Clifton.